If you're a fan of crazy flavors or Harry Potter, you've no doubt come across Birdie Beats Every Flavored Beans or the Bean Boozled lines, which use <laughs> crazy flavors like rotten egg, earthworm, dirt, oh. grass, uh, boogers, oh. earwax, vomit. Side note, don't challenge the vomit flavor. It tastes like real vomit. I had a friend who tried that and she regretted it instantly. That makes me sad. So it's always been like <laughs> these flavors, they're on the point, good or bad. And it's and many people have wondered, how does this happen? How do you how do you make these flavors without actually putting these horrifying ingredients into our uh, lives and poisoning us? Science! Yes, science. <laughs> so uh, they use a a, a gas chrom chromatograph, which is a way to uh, well, after converting whatever it is that you're basing it off of, let's say buttered popcorn. Uh, I hated you would, that until... You transfer, until. Well, you turn it into vapors, either by chemical process or by heat. And then um, it's in an oven, and then it analyzes the chemical makeup of those vapors and converts them to flavor markers, which are later matched uh, by the team. This is the starting point of creating those flavors. So from a chemical uh -huh. standpoint, like breaking it down to that and then using those markers to recreate it later. So don't worry, there aren't any actual boogers in booger flavored birdie bots. But they actually had to pick a nose, put it on a thing, and then register it the matches, nose fumes. It matches the, <laughs> the markings of it, but it's not exactly the same. Uh, so one, this is super gross. Two, there are so many possibilities. So some of the makers, uh, some of the people who work on this team were talking about some of the flavors they were making. Uh, one of which was smelly socks. That one, I for just... For which one of the uh, team members put his own pair of sweaty socks into a bag, let them marinate. It was a girl. A, a girl? Yeah. Okay, they, you know what? Girls can make terrible smells too. <laughs> um, let that marinate for a while, convert it uh, through the cr chromatograph, and then uh, recreate the, the smell. The smell is a big part of it. Uh, the smell is a big part of every flavor, if you think about it. Uh, but it turns out they made it too intense, and it made everything that one of the workers on the team own smell like smelly socks, and she could not get the smell <laughs> out of her leather boots, and it was a disaster. Uh, so they, they learned to tone it down a little bit, so you, as to not ruin everyone's life. Uh, with the smelly sour jelly bean. Maybe she really liked those boots. I I really relate to that as someone who wears boots constantly. <laughs> I'd, be re I'd be really upset. Yeah. Um, so this opens up a world of possibilities. If you could make any flavor using the chromatograph, meaning, you know, it's just the chemical markings, it's not the actual flavor, so calm down, what would you do? They already have dog food, so you can't choose that. No, I would make stuff that I, I can't eat now, like pizza oh. and like savory, like all the different ice cream flavors. I mean, I can eat it, Do you have but food allergies? No, I just love eating too much. <laughs> like once I eat a donut, like I just want to eat all the donuts. I did so. that yesterday. You ate all the donuts? I <laughs> ate one donut whole, and then I ate seven donut See, holes. See, but what if you and had- And then I ate a donut. What if you only had like seven <laughs> jelly beans uh -huh. that tasted like donuts? Then it's like, oh, I don't feel so bad. That's a texture experience. Yeah, too. there's that too. But yeah, that, that's a good that's a good idea. Yeah. If you are really craving something, you could go that way. You could also go as a gourmet way. There's sriracha and everything these days. I would days. do like Indian food. That'd be nice. Like that hey, might be weird. I'd like, I don't you know, know some about, chutney. Like, I don't know mouth. about <laughs> meaty flavors. I mean, they have savory flavors like the buttered popcorn. I would eat the meaty earlier. flavors for sure. Really? Yeah, I would like lamb. That scares me a little bit. With no, mint. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, you could do like the Lay's uh, do us a flavor challenge as well. Oh, yeah. it's, but like there's a lot of joke flavors. Like I think right now the leaders are frog and toad. Two distinct I flavor don't profiles. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't really want to taste. Um, unless they're the kind that make weird things happen in my brain. Uh, more huh? on that later. <laughs> so what would you do if you could choose your own uh, Jelly Belly flavor? I mean, y using this machine that could pretty well replicate the, the experience. Let us know below in the comments and please be sure to subscribe.